Hi everybody, Phil Easy here, doing a how to foliar spray your, we're going to do all the plants in the greenhouse today, your tomatoes, cucumbers, and pepper plants with humic acid. Uh, sounds a bit scary, acid, but it's a weak acid, so nothing really to worry about. What it does is it, uh, the humic acid will bind and help transport, bind to the roots and help transport water and nutrients. Uh, to that area. High levels of humic acid are uh, equal greater yields, so you end up with more uh, fruit production, all your food. And uh, yeah, I like to foliar spray, so we're going to use this. Uh, the reason I like to use this is because I can spray it directly on the leaves. And when you spray, spray directly on the leaves, it absorbs faster, quicker, uh, and it just is a more efficient way of doing it. Um, I use the humic acid powder. This can be found in uh, probably any of your garden supply stores. You just have to ask likely for it. Uh, it's really inexpensive, well, very, fairly inexpensive. I've had this powder for a year already and I barely used it. And uh, yeah, it dilutes into the water and you're good to go. So what we're gonna do here today is I'm gonna take you through uh, diluting using the actual, if you haven't used one of these thingies before, the sprayers, then you're thinking of getting one, then take you through how that works to foliar spray and uh, that'll be about it. Okay so the first step is going to be uh, to make sure you put the right amount of humic acid uh, mixed with your water. So what's recommended is uh, one teaspoon per gallon, half teaspoon to a teaspoon per gallon or a uh, quarter teaspoon per liter uh, if you're going to go in liters wise. So half teaspoon per gallon, quarter teaspoon per liter of water mixed with the humic acid. So let's do it. These things just unscrew. Make sure you release the pressure if you've had it pressurized before, before you unscrew it. It doesn't really, it's not dangerous, but it can give you a bit of a start and it uh, spurts out at you. So because this thing I've got is a two liter maximum, I know that I can put in, I believe it was a uh, quarter teaspoon per liter. It says it right here, quarter teaspoon per liter. So I've got two, so I'm going to put in two quarter teaspoons. I'll just double check that my little measuring thing, yep, there it is, is a quarter teaspoon. So I want two of those, one of those per liter. I've read some people say that uh, you don't want to open this stuff up and do this all inside because this black humic powder, acid, whatever it is, can be kind of gets in the air and stuff and can be a bit dirty. Uh, I've always done it outside, so I don't know. Haven't had any issues myself. All right, now we're going to fill it up. Won't take long. So fill up to your maximum level or whatever below it. There we go. So now I'm going to put the lid on here, or the stem. I've learned that it's easier to spin this actual thing versus spinning that around and around because this is a big wand. So I like to just spin it from the bottom. Again, easy. Tighten it nice and tight, and then you've got, uh, you have to charge it. So you have to pump this thing up. So for me, that's going to be this movement. A zillion times. Well, not a zillion, but I do about 50. I don't really count them, but you can feel the pressure start to resist as you go. The longer you do it, the more spray last you'll have, all that good stuff. So that feels about good to me. I don't know how many that was. I doubt anyone's counting, but it's a lot. Okay, now I'm going to take you through the actual spraying. Okay, so we're going to pick on tomato plant number one for the demo here. Uh, if anyone's interested, the type of tomatoes I'm growing this year, I haven't grown before, but I'm into growing large tomatoes uh, because we like to can them. So I like to have large meaty tomatoes for that purpose and also eating fresh. Um, so these are called a mortgage lifter. Uh, I'm not 
paid by them to advertise that or anything. I'm just telling you what it is. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, I've never grown it, so we'll see by the end of the season how they turn out. As you can see, I'm just giving it a little spray, trying to make sure all the leaves get covered somewhat, wet, and then I move on to the next one. It really is that simple, guys. And the frequency of doing this is, uh, I've read a couple people confirm about once a week. I haven't tried it that frequent yet myself. Um, I've been doing it maybe two to three times a season. But I'm going to up the frequency here and we're going to see what happens. Get an idea of how well this uh, does actually work out in the end. Having to pump it again get more pressure but as you can see I haven't used that much of our liquid yet so I'm just gonna hit the peppers up right here doing the same thing I was doing with the tomatoes just covering the leaves getting them wet it's pretty obvious because this stuff's dark brown um, I would imagine and I don't do it myself but I would imagine you don't want to put this on when you've got your full fruit out and everything right before you want to eat it I don't know I'd probably stop spraying within the last little while for harvest. I will sometimes pump as I'm going, just to keep the pressure going. You know me, I like to keep things rolling. It's really easy with this tool though. Uh, I used to try to do it with a hand sprayer a lot, but when you're starting to get into this many plants, it's not as easy, not as much fun for sure. It takes a lot longer too. Cucumbers now. These are quick because they're so small. When they get bigger, you'll see. They'll grow right up to the top. I may even try to train them over across, but I don't know. The Tomatoes are going to compete with them, so we'll see how that turns out. All right, there we go. So using boric acid in a foliar spray application, uh, we've done the whole greenhouse, guys, and uh, didn't take that long. Didn't even use a whole jug, so I'll save this one for next time. Like I said, frequency-wise, some people say up to a week. If any of you guys want to try that out and... Uh, let us know, let me know in the comments how that worked out. That would be great. Um, I might try it on a few. I don't know if I'll be that organized where I can keep them separate and do certain ones one way and another, but I may try that out. We'll see how it goes. But either way, it's a really good, simple uh, addition to your, your feeding, your fertilizing, whatever you want to call it, with uh, a lot of your plants. I don't know many, I don't know many that you don't put them on, you don't put this on. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that helps you guys get orientated with foliar spray feeding and all that. Really appreciate you guys checking this out. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.